We don't have any more disinfectant. You can take this. You're about as stupid as your mama, boy. My heart bleeds, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, damn, Mr. Thotty. I feel as though I've lost one of my own. That, that was very nice so, of you. There you are, ma'am. Told you to stop messing with that damn organ. <gasps> Bobby, close that damn coffin. I can smell Mrs. Johnson already. Yes, sir. Uh, you wanted to see me, Uncle Ezra? No, but I have no choice. Go measure to Jeffrey's body so I can order his casket. Uh, yes, sir. last two days have been rather trying. Yes, I can imagine. You and your family have my condolences, Mr. Jeffries. But don't worry. I've taken care of everything. Here we are. The perfect vessel to send your son on his way to the realm of glory. Is there something wrong? This casket is made of pine. Well, that's right. The highest quality of pine from the forest of Maine. But I specifically asked for oak. Oak? That's right. But I've already paid. I want nothing but the best for my son, Mr. Thornberry. Bobby! Yes, Uncle Ezra? You stupid half-wit. You ordered oak, not pine. Uh, who, Mr. Jeffries? You know what this is going to cost me? You got any idea? Now I'm going to have to pay for that damn pine coffin. But, Uncle, I, I told you oak. Don't you lie to me, boy. I'm not lying, Uncle. I swear to God, I told Don't you, you oak. Don't you dare use the Lord's name in vain. Now you're going to have to be punished. Oh, yeah. Now, Uncle, please, put this... Ah! Oh. Ah! Get up! Oh, help me! Get up, I said! Oh. We got work to do! My leg! The hell with your legs! Oh. Get up, you're so good lying! <laughs> Dog! My leg! Your nephew has suffered a severe spinal injury, Mr. Thorntonberry. He'll never walk again. How on earth did that happen? His own carelessness, I'm afraid. He fell down the stairs. If I've told him once, I've told him a thousand times. No running inside. He's a spirited boy, you know, an athlete. Not anymore. Put me in a poor house yet. Uncle Ezra? What you want, boy? Ezra! Don't you Ezra me. Where are my Air Jordans? I sold them. You sold them? Got a pretty good price for them, too. How could you sell my shoes? Don't you raise your voice at me, boy. Look at you. You're nothing but a helpless cripple. What are you going to do with shoes? All you're going to do is cost me money. You're nothing but a goddamn burden. Well, well, you, well, you should have thought about that before. Before you hit me with that crowbar. I, just, I, I ought to call the sheriffs. That's what I'm going to do. The sheriffs, huh? Then where are you going to go next? The state hospital, that's where. You're right there with all the rest of the cripples. Those shoes are going to go to waste just like that damn pine coffin he ordered. Thank you. 
Oh. Hello, Bobby. Uh, hi, Uncle. Oh, what are you doing with my ball? Not want not. That's what I always say. Here we are, in silent repose, just the way I want you. Damn, you were nuisance even when you're dead. I'm sure they're not going to order another coffin. I thought it was. Damn fluoride. Strange how he should happen to fall down the stairs again, isn't it, Mr. Fontenberry? Well, perhaps it's for the best. The boy was young and full of vigor. <laughs> 